Right, for our example, uh, here's a question that I, I just thought might be interesting. Uh, the question reads as follows, a light aircraft starts from rest and moves in a straight line at uniform acceleration of 3.8 meters per second for 6 seconds. Then it accelerates uniformly at 6 meters per second for a further 8 seconds. Calculate the following. Okay, so before we even go to, to the question and start calculating, we have to pay attention to the details or the statement, what it says. It says, this aircraft, it starts from rest. So the initial velocity, rest means it was not moving. It was at 0 meters per second. Then it moves in a straight line. So take note, the movement is in a straight line, which means the speed and the velocity are the same, as well as the displacement and the distance are the same. So it moves in a straight line at a uniform acceleration of 3.8 meters per second square. That is our acceleration. It moves at a time of 6 seconds. So it moves or accelerates, it is now accelerating from rest. For a period of 6 seconds, it is accelerating. Every second, the velocity is changing by 3.8 meters per second. Then the statement says, then it accelerates uniformly at 6 meters per second. So with this question, there are two accelerations. There is this 6 meters per second square and there is this first 6 the first 6 seconds it was accelerating at 3.8 meters per second so this was our first acceleration this was our second acceleration and it accelerated using this acceleration uh, for a time of 8 seconds so for a period of 8 seconds the acceleration was 6 meters per second. For the first 6 seconds, it was at 3.8 meters per second. The first question says, uh, calculate the speed. So question number one says, speed in kilometers per hour. They want our speed in kilometers per hour for the first 6 seconds. And our answer should be in kilometers per hour. So now remember, like we said, as long as there is acceleration, we will use our calculations in meters per second, then we'll convert our final answer to kilometers per hour. So we're going to use that formula V is equals to U plus acceleration times time. Our initial velocity was zero, then we are adding to our acceleration 3.8 times 6, then we get 22,8 meters per second. So this was our velocity after 6 seconds or at 6 seconds after starting from rest our velocity was at 22.8 meters per second now remember our question is asking us to give our answer in kilometers per hour so we're going to convert this by multiplying it with 3.6 so we're going to say velocity in kilometers per hour is going to be kilometers per hour is going to be 2.22 sorry 22.8 multiplied by 3.6 then we get our answer as 82.08 kilometers per hour okay there is no difference in the 82 kilometer 82.08 kilometers per hour and in the 22.8 kilometers per hour there is no difference in their speed or in their velocity. They, they are only in different units. This is in kilometers per hour, this is in meters per second. We just completed that. All right, then for the second question, it says, uh, calculate the distance traveled by the aircraft after, at the end of the 14 seconds. Now, where is the 14 seconds coming from? The 14 second comes from the six seconds plus eight seconds what we get is the 14 seconds so now they are asking us to calculate the distance that was traveled now with this question you might be tempted to say distance or displacement is equals to ut plus 
uh, half acceleration t square and then you say since we started from rest you use your 0 times your 14 seconds uh, plus half uh, times acceleration now that's where the trick part comes in because you don't know which acceleration to use so we cannot use for the whole entire 14 seconds but we will have to use we have to calculate using the same formula but we have to do two calculations we have to calculate the displacement during the first acceleration we calculate then we also calculate the displacement using the same formula in the last eight seconds so do not use 14 seconds because your acceleration that you put there does not cover the whole 14 seconds within the 14 seconds there were two accelerations that took place all right so let's calculate we'll calculate for the first for the first six seconds The initial velocity for the first six seconds was zero. We multiply by the time we are taking this time, six seconds. Then we add our acceleration was at 3.8. Then we multiply by the time our six. Don't forget to square that. So now this is zero. We are just multiplying that. It gave me 68,4 meters. So in the first six seconds, this aircraft covered. Uh, 68,4 seconds then we also calculate in the last 8 seconds okay so in the last 8 seconds we are using the same formula s is equal to ut plus half a t squared okay so in the last 8 seconds the aircraft did not start from rest it was already moving remember when we read in our statement it says it then accelerates by at 6 meters per second so it was already in motion after six seconds it has reached 22.8 then we multiply by the time which is eight seconds then we add to our half times acceleration our acceleration which is now six then we will we multiply by eight seconds you do not forget to square on that side then this gave me a dis a distance or a displacement of 4,4 meters okay so we have two displacements one displacement for the first six seconds the other displacement for the last eight seconds and uh, the eight seconds if we add eight seconds plus six seconds we get the whole 40 seconds that has been asked in our question so the total distance that was moved we are going to add that distance plus this distance so we are adding those so distance or displacement total displacement will be equals to 68,4 plus 37 uh, sorry not 37 plus 374,4 then we get our distance or our total displacement as 442.8 meters okay so we get our our displacement total displacement at 442.8.8 meters so basically that uh, that concludes our our topic for today in the next video i'll do some velocity graphs and now we can just play around with those velocity graphs mm -hmm.